quickly wanted to touch on this because I just saw this on my timeline because this kind of reminds me of what I was currently, what I was going through that I had a previous job I was at. I was working for this company called Parade World that was this amazing um, online store um, which basically focused on streetwear and skatewear and I was doing customer service and operations over there and it was great because basically what they did is that they acted, they were like, um, what would you call it? They were like a they were like a marketplace of stores so essentially a store would go on there and list so they would have stores list their products via the via the site but then the stores themselves would send the products to the customers but we would just deal with the customer service side of things we'd obviously put through the sales technically um obviously we'd kind of deal with whatever operations need to be dealt with but all the flipping stock and the back end stuff was kind of done by the stores themselves unfortunately over time that business failed and it kind of went bankrupt basically and we all kind of had to get let go but the boss and the manager of it and the ceo and the founder guy was absolutely amazing with how we dealt with it and everything but i remember kind of sitting there thinking you know what this model anyway it's probably not going to work long term because i always remember i was very down on farfetch when it launched um i was never really that positive that it would kind of last as long as it's lasting i'm actually surprised it's been around as long as it has i'm um, considering um i do remember being at some warehouse rave somewhere in hackney wick many many years ago um and i was talking to some guy who was like a big wig at farfetch actually no i think he was not a big wig. sorry i think he was working in like he's working somewhere in farfetch and i remember kind of you know being a little bit too honest about what i thought about farfetch now i thought like you know it was, it was a bit shit and he obviously wasn't that happy and pleased about it and then i think shortly after i got told to leave so that was a funny time to be at right imagine going to an afters and you get told to leave because you you know made some disparaging comments about where the person works and shit but anyway we move um it's now being said here the courtesy of stay grounded that caring has just cut ties with Farfetch and will be removing their entire catalogue of brands from the e-commerce platform. As a workaround, reports suggest that Farfetch intends to offer luxury products on its website without having direct involvement with the companies. Now, the issue with this is this. When I was working at Parade World, well, this is the same issue that we had. So essentially, some brands like Palace and Stussy didn't want to have their stuff listed on Parade World. They didn't want to have it listed on there. So what we do as a workaround is that we'd have the stores list them on there, but even the stores weren't allowed to sell them via Parade World. They don't allowed to sell them via their own sites. So they didn't want like third party platforms to kind of sell their wares. They wanted to kind of control the distribution and whatnot, whether it was direct to consumer through their own sites or whether it was through kind of second, you know, second party, second hand fucking, whatever the term is, and um, retailers. And um, over time, I think that's what killed the business, essentially. If I'm not mistaken, I forgot what big brand it was. Maybe it was Converse or Com de Garso. Maybe maybe it was Com de Garso. It might it might have been Com de Garso. I'm not too sure. I think it was actually. Um, that was another kind of brand also that was kind of refusing to kind of have some of this stuff listed on our site. And eventually that kind of led to the the, the the basically the platform kind of you know unfortunately having to stop. And I think this is probably what's going to happen to Farfetch. I think more more than likely. This is probably going to lead to the end of it because if you see here, some of the brands um, connected to Kering are Gucci, Saint Laurent, and um, Bottega Veneta, Balenciaga, and the Queen. Right, you got all these brands that you think a lot of people that would shop on Farfetch would actually like. So if they can't sell these stuff directly via there, then most likely Kering is also going to allow, not allow them to have their other stores list their stuff on there so it's probably going to be the beginning of the end of farfetch but there's another article here that kind of expounds on it a little bit to kind of read it says caring to pull brands from farfetch as others bypass the platform um and it continues here let's actually read this article it's courtesy of fashion united it says caring has terminated its contract with farfetch preventing this listing of a portfolio of brands including saint laurent gucci Bottega Veneta and Balenciaga on the marketplace for orders shipped directly from the brand's respected warehouses, which is a good deal for them, right? They actually had the ability to have actual access to these big brands' items and list them on their store. Parade, we didn't even have the opportunity. We just had certain things sell on there. Um, if I remember when I was actually at Parade, yeah, I think it was, it must have been Play. It must have been Comme des Garçons. But I remember one of the most popular items that we were selling for a period of time were the play converses right the one you know most people would know what they are it's got the heart on the on the side of the converses right the comme des garçons ones and then for a while they were obviously the highest selling item and it was basically helping to keep the lights on in the company and then quickly um dover street or comme des garçons overall basically pulled the plug on it and that effectively tanked the company so don't be surprised if farfetch ends up you know running into the same faith it continued or same fate sorry 
As a workaround, France is planning to sell high end brands. Um, the department store group Neyman Marcus is also ending its contract, which would make the products from its Bergdorf Goodman store available on the Farfetch platform. And Neyman Marcus representative told WWD, our focus remains on continuing to deliver a differentiated re luxury experience across all facets of our integrated retail model. What the fuck does that even mean? Honestly, I love fashion retail e commerce talk differentiated luxury experience across all facets of our integrated retail model <laughs> what and to position our business for sustainable potential profitable growth we appreciate farfetch which continues to be a minority investor in nmg in 2022 farfetch invested 200 million dollars in the name how, how how are they going to have neiman marcus pull out when they invested in them what um department store chain which plans um to group to adopt the farfetch tech solutions it's no longer happening beside the retail touch points a seller farfetch to the south korean um, e-commerce group um Kao Pang has been contentious and the platform is no longer a strategic partner of some luxury brands as emphasized by Kering's chief jean-marc duplat um during a recent earnings call according to business and fashion the majority of farfetch's available brand portfolio comes from third-party retailers the platform will be eager to retain and many luxury brands as possible to avoid further damaging its troubling reputation forget about the reputation as the sales like companies like this honestly probably re rely a lot on those you know um sales of those big brands so if they're not able to list them on their site it's going to kill them honestly it really will it wouldn't surprise me if some of their highest sellers are just you know random items like a gucci belt or like you know sandals or something and all those things as soon as you're not allowed to list them from these high-end luxury brands it basically um you know can basically cut you off at the knee so um most likely i know a lot of people who have kind of worked at farfetch who have been let go and most likely that'll be the you know the flipping future that they're going to be seeing in the next term future so rip to everybody on there RIP to everybody that is working there because the end is soon coming for you people.